already. Hey. You are the head of the house, and there is no exception. No, no exception. Shut up. No. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, I just invited a few guys over. You know how it is. Word got out. I miss you. I miss you too. But I'm saving a lot towards school. So, who's all this? It's Lucas, Maya, and a few other people. I better go, but I love you. I can't wait for you to get home. I love you too. So, what's the wife give back, huh? The end of the month, right before school starts. That's a long time to go without getting something, bro. Nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Easy! The host of the party should always be one drink behind. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, who invited the skank? Uh, I don't even know who that is. Lucas Frederick. Uh, God, you are such an internet slut. Oh, come on, Ma, give her a break. I think she just moved it ahead. She doesn't know anybody. Look at her profile. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, we're almost out of beer. I'll be right back. You know, I've always wondered what these things look like on the inside. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Come here. Uh, God, look at this dash. What do all these buttons do? What? Come in. I want you to show me what they do. Stop it, come uh, uh. here. <laughs> oh man, that beer bug is hitting me hard. <sighs> oh. Now I know why you shouldn't drink and drive. Everything's spinning. <laughs> I can make it stop spinning.
<laughs> hey, did you get your new schedule yet? First period, Mrs. Hope. Awesome, so I can see you first thing every morning. Unless your parents let me sleep over. That is never going to happen. Why? We've been together for like two years. I'm practically family. What about your parents? My parents are still barely talking to me. Do you blame them? I mean, you trashed their house for that party. Yeah, I didn't plan it, and I swear that's never going to happen again. Ever. <laughs> hey, Connor. Hey. Uh, who's that? Uh, just some new chick Lucas friended. You know how he is. You gonna go in? Okay. All right, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic summer vacation. Relax because it's all over. And the work is really about to begin because this is the year that counts, right? So get out your world history books. Chapter five. Heather Henderson. What school did she go to? It doesn't say. Oh, look, and other than my dumbass boyfriend, <laughs> it looks like she doesn't have very many friends. What the hell is that? Is that from the party? Mm, probably. But look, Connor was so wasted, he probably doesn't even remember this photo. Seriously, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's just. I'm late. Late. Oh, you mean you're... Yeah. I was supposed to get my period over a week ago. Well, have you told Connor? What? No. And totally freak him out? Absolutely not. No way. It's my mom. I gotta go. Okay, um, well, call me, okay? Oh, hey, look, and, and don't worry. I'm late all the time. All the time. I just don't understand why it has to happen. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything's wrong. I... What's going on? Um, your sister had another miscarriage. Oh, Kel, I am so sorry. Yeah, well, I should be used to it by now. <sighs> um, are you in for the night? Yeah. Okay. Look, I really hate to do this, but I have to go to work, okay? Um, your dad will be home later, okay? I love you. I love you, too. You know what? It's gonna happen. Thanks, Mom. I know it. Bye, guys. Greg and I swore if the last one didn't take, we'd try in vitro. What does that mean? It means I get to be poked and basted like a turkey. I just think it's funny how in sex ed they always warn you, don't have unprotected sex or you're sure to get pregnant. And then when you want to, you can't. Yeah. And how are you? Everything okay with you and Connor? Yeah. Yeah, everything's great. You sure? Yeah, I don't know. I just think maybe I shouldn't have left all summer. Now, hey, you in there? Hey, you hear me? Yeah, Dad, whatever. Hey, Mrs. Walker. Hey, it's really good to see you back, Amanda. Thank you. How was the uh, counseling job? It was good. Um, I made a lot of money for school, so. Well, that's good. Yeah. 
Well, I'm not going to lie. I wish you'd been here, because then maybe my son wouldn't have been so stupid as to have a party. <laughs> Mom, are you ever going to forgive me for that, for real? Maybe, if I can get that stain out of my carpet. <laughs> get back to your homework. <laughs> what are you doing? Making up for summer. What is it? Nothing, just this stupid puppy video that Lucas sent me. How do you know it's mine? Because I do. No, th there's no way. I mean, it was like one time. Yeah, well, I haven't been with anybody else. I mean, I just moved here like two months ago. I don't know anybody. Except you. So what do you want to do? I mean, it's not like this was planned. And I have a girlfriend. Well, you should have thought about that before you slept with me. Uh, I barely even remember what happened. Hey, you guys, let's get to class, okay? I'm keeping it. Our baby. Connor! Hey! Hey! Where were you this morning? Uh, I wasn't feeling well. Huh. Well, did you hear about that new girl, Heather? Apparently, she posted a selfie of a positive pregnancy test. I mean, that's crazy, right? If she were actually pregnant? Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna go home. Uh, but I'll talk to you later. Hey. Yo, have you seen Heather's face page? Yeah, she posted her pee stick. No, there's more, Amanda. Look at it. Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, I picked you a good daddy. Shouldn't you be at work? Seriously? You picking up where your mama left off? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, and just like her. I'll be out of here soon enough. Why didn't you call me back? Sorry, I was... What? Avoiding me? What is this? Hey, Connor. Hey, I got the blood results back. I'm for sure pregnant. Is this real? Look, Amanda, I have no idea what's going on right you now. You obviously suck with her, or she just lying. I'm not Shut lying. Shut up! Look, I'm not the one who cheated on his girlfriend. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Amanda, can we just talk about this? No, you have no idea how bad you just screwed up. <laughs> Amanda! 
I can't believe this. How could he? I, I know, but maybe, maybe it's not as bad as it seems. I mean, people make mistakes, right? You guys have been together for two years. Maybe you can get through this. I don't think so. I'm pregnant too. Nothing can change. <laughs> even know how to say how sorry I am. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. To be honest, I barely even remember what happened. So you're gonna blame it on being drunk? No, no, it was totally and completely my fault. But now I just hate myself for all of it. Especially what it's done to you. To us. There is no more of us, Connor. You took care of that the night that you got her pregnant. You should eat, sweetie. You look pale. I'm fine. Is there a problem? Yes. Mrs. Wolk, there is. In fact, can I switch seats, please? I'll switch with her. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, Amanda, Heather, switch seats. But if I have any more disturbances, I'm going to move you all. Ooh. She's all yours. Because they'll kill me. Look, they'll get over it, and then they'll meet their grandchild, and they'll be so happy, just like we'll be. Have you told your parents? My mom's not around. She walked out on us, like, four years ago. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. And my dad. He doesn't care what I do. And even if I did tell him, he wouldn't help out. He wouldn't buy me any maternity clothes, so what am I supposed to wear? I can't even see a doctor because we don't have insurance and I sure as hell can't afford it on my own and I didn't want to say anything about this but I'm really worried about this baby like I'm trying to do everything right but I have no one no one is there to help me look I'll take care of it okay I have some money saved up we can use it for a doctor so you and the baby can get checked out oh, thanks I know you take care something you want to tell us? 
No. Why? I don't know. Maybe the fact that you don't eat a lot these days. You don't sleep very much. You cry a lot. I'm okay. I just have been really busy. A little tired is all. I thought we were being safe. I swear, I didn't mean for this to happen. Amanda, do you have any idea what this is gonna do to your life, to, to your future? You're only 17. You haven't even finished high school. And what about college? Or did you just forget about that? I didn't do this on purpose. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I mean, Mom's right. If I keep the baby, it changes everything. No, no, wait a second. I did not mean to suggest that you shouldn't have this baby. But you did make a mistake, Amanda. Look, you do need to take some responsibility here. She obviously can't go to school and raise the baby at the same time. Okay. No, she cannot. But she also has her parents. Right? You have both of your parents here to help you. Do you know that when I was 19, your father and I had to make the exact same decision? And do you know how grateful I am every single day that I get to look into your sister's smiling face? And yours. Dad? Obviously this is not what I wanted, Amanda. But your mother's right. Come here. I'm sure that you and Connor are terrified. But just know that we will be there for you and we will get through this together. Connor doesn't know I haven't told him. Why? Amanda, this is his baby. He deserves to know. He cheated on me, Mom. And she's pregnant, too. What? Amanda, your father and I have decided to go over to Connor's and talk to his parents. Now? And we would like for you to come with us. You did talk to Connor, right? Because his parents didn't mention anything. Yeah, he just probably hasn't told them. Okay. We might want to give him the heads up that we're coming. Okay. We had the greatest summer, as I say, but we missed you. Uh, the vineyard was spectacular. You have to come next time. Oh, we'd love to. And this Pinot is phenomenal. I mean, wait till you taste it. But anyway, enough about us. So, uh, how are things? Well, actually, that's why we're here. Um, Amanda and Connor have something they want to discuss with us. Oh, what is it? Amanda. I'm pregnant. Connor, you didn't think that maybe you should have told us? I didn't know about it until just before they came over. You expect us to believe that? It's true. I don't understand this. Weren't you being safe? Yeah, we were. At least I thought we were. Well, one of you wasn't. Wait a second. In all fairness, even if they were taking precautions, we all know something like this can still happen. Okay, okay. Let's not all get worked up about this, okay? I mean, there is a way to handle this, right? I'm keeping the baby, if that's what you mean. And there's more. There's a girl at school who's claiming she's also pregnant with Connor's baby. What is this, a joke? Is this some kind of damn joke? That's true. Connor, I don't understand. I mean, how could this happen? I'll tell you how it could happen. This is some kind of sick game these girls are playing. Now, wait a second. It's your son who screwed around you. It does take two, Peter. I don't understand this. I mean, who is this girl? What's her name? Uh, her name's Heather. 
I don't even know her. I Whoa, her. wait a second. What do you mean you don't know her? It doesn't sound like it. Okay, you know what? What if we just calm down a little bit? You still think we shouldn't have sent him to private school? Away from these... What, Peter? Away from what? Hey, look. My son's life is ruined, Jeff. You know, this is not just about Connor. Amanda, she's right. I mean, have you thought about this? What this means for both of your futures? Yes. I have. And I want to do a right for the baby. What about this other girl? Is she gonna do the right thing? Yeah. That's great. And guess who gets to pay for all of it? Us. That's who. Really, Peter? You know what? I've had enough of this. Come on, man. Let's go. You know, we will contribute as much as we possibly can. But I thought that you knew that about us already. Amanda, wait. Why didn't you tell me? I was going to tell you. You were too busy fondling others. I don't want anything to do with her. I just... Exactly, Connor. If it was just us, I could talk to you. But it's not. Amanda, please. Connor. Look, I don't care what my parents say. I'm going to be here for you whether you want me to or not. Dylan Walker. Dylan. David. Will Dylan starting a little week in two weeks? Yeah. Connor's so excited. He's so proud of him. Ryan Walker. I think that's perfect. This is Heather Walker. That's me, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is Walker. This is Heather Walker. What do you want? <sighs> Not the way to treat your boyfriend. Dad got any beers? No. I said no, and you're not staying. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Dad's not home. You're looking great. It's been a month since I've been in your pants, you know that? I don't want to see you anymore, Trent. Why do you think I haven't called? What? You got some new rich boyfriend? Seen as the last time he tried to swindle somebody didn't work out so good. We're done, Trent. I'm getting tired of getting jerked around by you every time one of your plans doesn't work out. I just thought you should know that this isn't the first time that Heather has done this. What do you mean? She's faking, Connor. Faking what? You know what I'm talking about. No. No, I don't. What do you want, Heather? Money? 
the attention, or are you just some pathological liar? Hey, come on, Amanda, no, just you're lying, it. Heather. You're not pregnant. Just like you lied at your last high school, fucking high. I mean, seriously, how long did you think that you could get away with this? I mean, I bet you're lying about Connor sleeping with you. Oh, trust me, I did not make that up. You're just jealous because I'm having your boyfriend's baby. Or is it ex-boyfriend? Oh, I have nothing to be jealous about because I'm pregnant too. Bet that wasn't part of your twisted plan, was it? Connor was so drunk at the party, he barely remembers anything. For all he knows that you're making everything up. You just can't deal with the fact that your boyfriend cheated on you, can you? Let me paint a little picture for you. Me and Connor in the front seat of his daddy's Mercedes. Amanda. Just don't. You know, the one with the soft leather interior with me on top. Your boyfriend. Your boyfriend! Oh! Oh! Connor! Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Amanda, she pushed me. Oh my God. Back to class. Back to class! <laughs> Okay. Oh! All right. Oh! Uh, uh, Call 911. Uh, breathe. I just can't believe she would do that, Connor. She could have hurt our baby. I mean, what about when the baby actually comes? I'm just afraid of what she might do. She wouldn't hurt the baby, Heather. I'm in the hospital, Connor, because of her. Look, I'm not going to let anything happen. Mom. What happened? Nothing. The baby's fine. Nothing's fine. Amanda pushed me. I take it you're Heather. Connor, will you make sure I don't get a ticket where I'm parked in front of the entrance? So, you're the one claiming to be carrying my son's baby. I am carrying your son's baby. Have you had a paternity test? No. I won't endanger my baby. Besides, Connor knows I haven't been with anyone else. <laughs> Connor knows you haven't been with anyone else. Sure. Connor doesn't know anything. But I have a pretty good idea of what you're all about. Just so you know. Oh, and don't sweat it. It's just a blood test. You can't make me do it. We'll see about that. Hey. Hey, how is everything with Heather? Uh, the doctor said she and the baby should be fine. <sighs> Look, I didn't mean to hurt her. I just, I'm sorry. Amanda, I get that this is my mess. Okay, but we're all just gonna have to try and get along. I'm not gonna be friends with her if that's what you think, Connor. I get that. So then just leave her alone, all right? Fine, I'll do that. Are you kidding me? Kelly, uh, it is hard enough on your sister without you She can't have a baby. She's not even married. Or do you and your high school sweetheart, Connor, plan on getting hitched? You know what, Kelly? That is enough. No, I mean it. How do they plan on raising a baby between homeroom and soccer practice? You know, if there was ever a time that Amanda needed a big sister, now would be it. Wait, just... I'll go. I'm really sorry, all right? I've been trying for over a year, Amanda. I want a family more than anything in the world. And then you just go and... I know. It's not fair. Fair or not, I'm still your sister. And I'm here for you, okay? I mean it.
I don't even know how much longer I can go without wearing maternity wear. I mean, everything I wear is so uncomfortable. What are you doing here? He called and asked if he could be here for the ultrasound. I'll just meet you in the car. Actually, Mrs. Cohen, I would prefer to take Amanda home myself. If that's okay with you. Of course. Good luck, you guys. Sing me to sleep through the winter and your lips are strawberry red. I take all I have. All righty. Well, unless it's hiding, looks like you're going to have a girl. Really? I'm having a girl. <laughs> it's pretty safe to paint your nursery pink. <laughs> and everything else looks okay? Everything looks fine. Do you want to hear the heartbeat? Yeah, yes. for sure. <laughs> That's crazy. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby daddy. gonna love me in this. <laughs> you left your keys in the door again. Seriously, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Jeez. It's not your problem, Dad. Yeah, you're damn right, Dad ain't my problem. Well, I wouldn't expect anything to change now. Hmm. Well, I hope you got it all figured out then. Of course I do. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not that much like Mom. I was smart. I didn't pick a loser. Hmm. Well, he must be some kind of lucky boy then. Don't lose him again. Clean all that up. That's incredible. It's like in 3D and everything. <laughs> you can clean up now. Okay. I heard your mom was making her take a paternity test. Yeah, we should hear back from the lab today. She's driving me crazy, Amanda. Calling and texting all the time, needing stuff. When I talked to you that day at the hospital, I was stressed out. Okay, I mean, she got me thinking something bad could have happened to the baby, and I just didn't want to deal with any more drama. But I never meant to push you away. See what I mean? Well, is everything okay? Yeah. I'll just tell her I'm at your ultrasound. I mean, she's got to understand that it's not just about her. Besides, I want to be here. Connor, hi, this is me. I need you to call me right now. I don't know why you're not answering your phone. Please call me. Connor, hi, this is me. I need you to call me back. Baby, I'm sorry. I need you to call me back right now, okay? This is really important. Please, you have to call me back right now, okay? Heather been to ultrasound? Well, not yet, but I'm sure she'll let me know, seeing as my parents have to pay for it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me be there today. Is it her again? Yeah, she says she's taking some pill to calm her down, and now she feels sick. Better go. Amanda, she doesn't have anyone else. I get it. Go. I'm sorry. All 
right, I'll tell her. Thanks. All right, so the doctor said you and the baby should be fine, but to never take any medication again until you talk to him first. I'm sorry, Connor. It's okay. You need anything? I'd love something to drink. So, where's the baby gonna sleep? My room. Wanna see? I was thinking maybe I could put the baby bed right here next to mine. Wanna fix it up a little bit and some new furniture and curtains and a new heater and maybe patch up some of the holes on the wall. Do you think maybe your parents can help out? Because I'd really hate for our baby to be sleeping in here like it is. I'll talk to them. Do you want to come in? Uh, no, thanks. I better get going. Well, do you want to just just stay just for a little bit? Because it kind of gets lonely here lately. And, you know, with my, my dad's never around, my mom hasn't called in over a year. So. Sounds like your dad's home now. We should talk to him. Hey, kid. Come here. Come on. Come on. You the one? I'm sorry? The one who put my girl in her conditions, that you. That's what she says. You poor little son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, feel any better? Not really. You know, when Connor called and said he wanted to go the ultrasound, he said he really wanted to be there for you. Yeah, well, he can't be in two places at once, can he? He loves you, Amanda. Not her. Try to remember that, okay? Hey, it's me, Amanda. Leave me a message. So I just got off the phone with the lab. Mother's baby is yours. I was just over at her house, Mom. It's a mess. She showed me where the baby was supposed to sleep, and it was disgusting. She asked if we could help fix it up. Now that we know the baby's mine... So she wants money for this? She doesn't have any herself, Mom. I'm well aware of that, Connor. social media that the baby's Connors. She even posted a picture of the test. Hey, I was calling and... I was calling and texting you all night. The results came back. I heard. Is that why you went and stayed at Heather's house to celebrate? What are you talking about? I came home. Connor, you texted me saying that you were staying there. No, I didn't. You can 
Stop with this stupid little games, Heather. I mean, really, texting me that Connor stayed over? Pathetic. What's pathetic is you believing everything Connor tells you. Or doesn't. I mean, in case you forgot, he never told you that he slept with me before. So why would he tell you the truth now? She welcomed me with open arms. She gave me coffee, chips, and drinks. And that's love. She gave me life and she gave me friends. But whisper tells me it's all pretend. And that's love. And that's love. Are you Heather's father? Yeah, who are you? I'm Diane Walker. My son is the father of your daughter's child. Okay, I get it. No, no, no I, I don't think you do get it, Mr. Henderson. You see, my son has a very, very bright future, and while quite frankly, a baby isn't part of his plan. Okay, so what you're saying is that your son knocks up my daughter, and now he ain't gonna step up? I'm saying my son made a mistake, one which I'm pretty sure your daughter planned, which is why I'm here, to make good on that plan. That should help raise the child for the next seven or eight years, and after that we can make other arrangements. But only if Heather stays away from my son. Are we clear? Oh, yeah. Good. And if we have a deal, I need you to sign these. Wouldn't you like your copy? You want to come inside and have a drink or something? Be neighborly. Ah. Hey, check this out. I'm sure these will piss Heather off since I bet nobody decided to throw her a baby shower. It's not a game, Maya. I know that. But she's playing like it is, so you have to, too. I mean, you believe she's the one who texted you, right? She's messing with you, Amanda. Look, you've got to give Connor a chance here. He's been texting me today. Wants to know if he can see me. <laughs> then forget the crazy bitch and go! <laughs> Look at that. One like already. I'm so not surprised we're having a boy. I mean, I've been dreaming about this. You and me taking him to his first ball game. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you talk to your mom about getting money for the rhinos? Yep. She said she'd help take care of it. Good. You want to come in? Uh, I can't. I got to be somewhere. <laughs> Fine. Things are really messed up right now, right? And you have every reason to doubt me. But you gotta know, it's you. 
mean, it has always been you. I love you, Amanda. And I will do everything I have to to win your trust back. Heather's father has left. Uh, he left because your mom tried to pay him off. And now I don't even have a dad. So this is the only place I could think of to go. Is this true? I was trying to help you. Come. How is that helping, Mom? She's pregnant with my kids. She can't just be living in the streets. Amanda! Hey, Amanda, wait. This doesn't change anything, all right? What do you mean it doesn't change anything, Connor? It's obvious where she's going to be staying, with you, and that, that changes everything. It's amazing. In the past couple weeks, I really feel like I've been eating for two. Oh, by the way, there's a school field trip next week, and I was hoping maybe you could sign the permission form. <laughs> it's like 20 bucks to go. So, um, Heather, have you started thinking about a plan for you, for the baby? Yeah, I have. I was thinking maybe we could set up a room here, like a nursery, and Connor and I could live here. Unless, of course, you wanted us to live somewhere else, and I'm sure you guys could help us out with the down payment. Well, Connor needs to finish school. And by school, I mean college. Wittendale. Actually, I've decided to stay. Go to community college. That way I can still get my degree and at least be here, you know, for everything. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm moving out. Amanda and I still haven't talked about our plan yet. Hey, it's me, Amanda. Leave me a message. Hey, Amanda. Listen. I meant it when I said nothing's changed. Trust me. Let me pick you up for breakfast tomorrow and then I'll take you to Lamaze. Please. I love you. Uh, are you lost? Would you like me to show you back to your room on the other side of the house? <sighs> Good night. Brought you something to eat. Look, Amanda, I understand it must be so hard knowing that Heather's over at Connor's, but he's just trying to do the right thing. I know. It's just so much has happened and the babies haven't even come yet. Connor's not ready to be a dad. Not to two kids. Maybe keeping the baby isn't the best decision. What are you saying? Maybe Kelly and Greg are better parents. Oh. Amanda, sweetie. Look, giving up a child is one of the most difficult things that a mother can do. H have you talked to Connor about this? No. You need to. Because this is a decision that you need to make together, okay? Hey, 
hey, sleepyhead, you slept in. Where's my mom? Oh, she had a hair appointment or some stupid errand. I don't know. <laughs> I made you ham and eggs. My dad already left for his trip? Yeah, he was gone by the time I got up this morning. Left that hot new Mercedes in the garage. What's the deal? Does he get a new one every year or something? Yeah, it's a company car. They lease it to him. Oh, nice. We should break into that one, too. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, just out. Well, I thought that we could spend the day together, look at cribs and stuff. Heather, you're not due for another six weeks. Are you going to see Amanda? <laughs> Connor! to see how much swag you ditched me for. Where are you going? Hey. It's not bad. I could use one of these as soon as they took my truck. I wouldn't repossess it if you got a job. That's a great idea. Oh, you know what's a better idea? I was thinking about this on my ride over here. Seeing as one of your plans finally seems to have worked out, I figured that you, you start paying me. Screw you, Trent. Yeah, you did that already. Remember, now it's my turn to screw you. Look, if you don't start throwing a little something my way, I'm gonna make things... I'm gonna make things really uncomfortable for you here. You forget that I know you. I know who you really are. You tell that kid about the other rich dude you tried to hook up with? You tell them about your miscarriages? Here's some Paul's secrets. So I'd recommend you just pay me. Where's their jewelry? Hmm? I can tell by that belly of yours, you've been putting in some work. You're such a little slut. <laughs> everyone. Today, we are going to practice breathing. So, now, let's take a deep, cleansing breath in and out. And now I want all the partners breathing as well, okay? And breathe in. Now, partners, I want you to wrap your arms around the mother as she leans back into you. Excellent. everybody. I want you to continue practicing your breathing techniques and we will see you next week.
I know you've been trying, but I've been thinking a lot about you being a dad, not to just one, but to two babies. I mean, you're only 17, and trust me, I know that you would give up anything for our baby, just like I would, but what if there's another way? A way that we can give our baby the best life possible and make someone very, very happy. I just want you to think about what I'm about to say. What are you talking about? I'm talking about giving our baby to my sister. I mean, she's been trying everything and nothing's working and it's breaking her heart. And here I am, pregnant, and I didn't plan for this. So it made me wonder that maybe this is a sign. Maybe I was supposed to get pregnant and she's meant to have the baby. So this is what you want to do? If you do. I don't know. I really don't know. And that's why I love you. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. What the hell do you think you're doing? I called the police because I thought somebody had stolen the car. I mean, what made you think you could take Peter's car without even asking, huh? Really? That's it? No apology? Are you? Listen to me. You know you're not a part of this family, Heather. You're only here because of my grandchild, so don't make yourself so damn comfortable. Because Connor won't have you, ever. I am just so sick of you, you meddling bitch. You just can't leave us alone, can you? I mean, don't you get it? I am having your son's baby. Me. That's right. The girl from the wrong side of the tracks. I mean, is that what's so horrifying to you? That I'm not good enough? No, what's so horrifying to me is what kind of person you are. Manipulative, conniving. In fact, I'm now really worried whether you're even a fit mother for my grandchild. Because <laughs> are you insane? What is wrong with you? Don't you mess! with me or my baby, Diane, because you will be so sorry. What's up, buddy? So, how'd you sleep last night? Fine. Did you get any? <laughs> no, hey, 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 how is it to, like, hook up with a pregnant chick? Dude, what are you talking about? Oh, you gonna, okay. You're not gonna tell me? Bro, look. <laughs> You're a freak, bro. You're a freak. What happened? Mother of your child, Heather. 
just went crazy. Look, Connor, she can't stay here anymore. That's it. I won't have it. I, I, I will pay to have her put up somewhere, but she is not staying in this house. I am not going to be assaulted in my own home. That's it. She hurt you? I got it. I thought you'd use this photo until we get a real photo of the three of us together. You have crossed the line. I mean, taking pictures of us sleeping together is bad enough, but when you hurt my mom, that's it. I want you out! Really? And why do you think I'm here in the first place, Connor? Or did you forget what your mother did? I don't care, Heather! Okay, I'm done being the good guy. Because you are crazy! Okay, it doesn't matter how many pictures you take of us together, we are not a couple! Because I love Amanda, and you, I don't even like you. Wait, wait, Connor, I didn't mean to hurt your mom. Connor, I'm sorry. Connor, Connor, Connor! Have you thought at all about what we talked about? Kelly and the baby? Yeah. And I'm starting to think maybe you're right. Maybe there is a reason you got pregnant. Ready. Dad, will you hand me a hot dog, please? Yes, sweetie. Thank you. Remember, I like my burgers rare. Yes, sir. Kelly, Greg, uh, Connor and I have something we want to ask you. We've been talking, and of course, we want what's best for our little girl. And we've agreed that the best is you two. I'm not following. We want to know if you'd adopt our baby. Are you serious? I mean, you guys have wanted this for so long, and you would just be amazing parents. <laughs> Amanda, are you sure? We're sure. I don't know what to say. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that that's a yes. <laughs> yes, of course it is. You guys are going to be great. <laughs> Thank you. I want to do a toast. Yes. <laughs> to family. <laughs> to family. family. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. <laughs> form to go on this field trip, you can't go. Does everyone understand that? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, line up. Is Heather coming? I think so. Your mom signed her form. Everybody, 
Buckle up, let's go. break up into two groups. Group A goes into the conservation center with Gray Eagle and group B will join me in the park. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. All right, everyone, let's go. Have a wonderful day. Mrs. Wolk, I have to use the restroom. Oh, okay, there's one back in the conservation center. Okay. Take the shortcut, but stay on the trail. I will. Okay. What are you doing here? Just making sure you don't get lost. You know, we were planning on getting our own place together to raise our baby. That's actually the reason why his parents put me up in an apartment, because they just couldn't handle the fact that their precious Connor wasn't theirs anymore. You're lying, Heather. That was never going to happen. No? Well, that picture of you two next to his bed, he, he actually put that away and replaced it with a picture of our ultrasound. And I never asked him to, he just did it. And he just loves my pregnant body. And the best part is we don't have to use any protection. It's just so awesome, it's so intimate. It's just me, him, and his baby. Just stop, Heather! He never sleep with you, all right? He doesn't love you, and he said so himself. I mean, God, when are you gonna get it through that twisted head of yours that you're just a mistake that he made? Your little plan to trap him or whatever? Obviously backfired, because where are you now? You're alone in some apartment, and soon you're gonna be alone with a baby to take care of. Is that what you wanted? Because if it is, congratulations, you got it. You stupid bitch! Why? Why did you have to get pregnant? He didn't want you, he wanted me, and he still does. Because he promised that he will take care of me, of us, and you? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why? You already have a family. And what do I have? I have nothing. Everyone in my life has left me. Do you know what that's like? No, of course you don't. Because you have everything that you want, you stupid, spoiled, selfish little bitch. Miss Wolf? Where's Amanda? I thought she came back to use the restroom. I didn't see her. Let me go check. Okay. Have you guys seen Amanda? Ladies, have you seen Amanda? Amanda!
She's not there. Okay, I want everyone inside and stay there until the next lecture. I'm gonna go find her. No, Connor! Connor! Daddy, he loves you very much. We both do. That's why it was so hard to do what's best for you right now. But don't you worry. We'll always be here for you. And one day, you will have a little cousin that you can play with. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. With all of my heart. <laughs> Are you ready? doing okay <laughs> she's beautiful just like you <laughs> I mean look at that nose <laughs> there's no doubt she's your baby <laughs> she's yours Amanda <laughs> yours Aunt Connors <laughs> you are her parents <laughs> it wouldn't be right for us to take her from you but you've wanted a family for so long. And you are so happy. There's still time for me. 
Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Besides, I am going to be the coolest aunt in the world. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Knock, knock. How's my little girl and my granddaughter? Hey there. Hi. Perfect. Oh. This is my boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, he always oh, doing great. He's gaining like a pound a day, I bet. Yeah, this kid, he has an iron grip. He grabs a hold of your finger and he never lets go. He's going to be a bruiser like his dad. We just wanted to come by and say hi. I'm going to give you guys your privacy. We'll come back a little later. Well, hold on. I want to get a picture first. Hey, Connor, we'll yep. there next to Amanda. <laughs> you and Ryan. This is going to be our first family portrait. All right. And now just hold that pose. And say cheese. Very nice. All right. Now, everyone. Selfie. Selfie. Mom, did you Get just say selfie? Yeah. Get in here, Greg. Oh, yeah, we are. No, you're not. Oh, gonna do it too. She loves these. Cheese. Oh, say selfie. Well, they found Trent's body in your basement. Your dad was out of town, so all the evidence points to you. If you don't take the plea, it's life in prison, no parole. Take the plea, you might be out in 20 or less with good behavior. Whatever. Can I get some water? Sure. Across the state lines, remain positive and every day I thank God. 